Hello, this is Hans van der Kroos, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to explain a bit about the spread or proximity functions from PC Raster in QGIS. There are different uh, tools available for uh, that. Uh, I'll focus on spread, spread max and spread max zone in this video. Uh, the ones that are related to water will be explained in another video. Spread is the ordinary uh, proximity tool and it needs an initial friction layer and a friction layer uh, that impacts uh, the distance. If you want just Euclidean distance, then uh, you keep the initial friction at zero and the friction layer at one. And they are spatial, so we need to create them with the spatial tool. So I create the um, initial friction of zero by choosing a value of zero making that a scalar and saving it as initial friction maybe before so here i can replace it replacements are not really recommended if they are different because um, it doesn't always overwrite i've seen I make another layer with a value of one for each cell and that will be the friction layer so with initial friction of zero and friction of one, we can have just the distances reported in the spread tool. So I use here the industry pixels as the points from which we want to propagate the distance and initial friction and the friction layers. And I write the output to indist. And then I run it. And now I get for each pixel the distance to the industry cells. So it's calculated from the zeros to the non-zeros, and we only had the ones here, which are true for industry, explained in a previous video. And if we want the areas that are uh, further than 300 meters from industry, we can use the raster calculator and we say in this larger or equal to 300. So here again you see that you can use PC raster results combined in uh, other tools in QGIS. Which is Boolean. It's true for cells that are further than 300 meters and false for cells that are less than 300 meters. If we are interested in a maximum distance we can use spread max which will calculate the distances to a maximum value that we have specified. So here I choose uh, the roads at initial friction and friction, and I want a maximum distance of 150 meters. Call the output spread max. And when I run it, I get a layer that uh, has the distances until 150 meters, and which is further gets value zero. Often, however, we want the cells within a maximum distance to have the same value as the cells from which the distance is calculated. Then we use spread max zone. So in this case, we use the roads map as an input and we do the same calculation. And when we run it, we instead get now the value of one that was for the roads and the value of zero uh, for the areas that are further than the 150 meter threshold. So I style it as a boolean, here we see the result of our buffer. Now we can also do this for the houses layer to determine which areas are within 150 meters from the houses, but in a previous video we have used a TIFF and we cannot use TIFF files as an input. So I'm going to um, reclassify the buildings layer again to get the houses out of it, but I'm going to use a lookup table where I say class 0 remains 0, 1, that of houses will be 1, and then from, it should be 2, to the maximum value will also be boolean 0. So as easy with these lookup tables, I can simply reclassify the buildings layer to get the houses out of it in the PC raster format. We use lookup. We 
is the correct one. Output is a boolean. Houses and no houses, so I call it is houses. Run it. Here we have the result, and then I can use the spread max zone tool again to calculate the distances. Is houses input, and then the friction layers. I want it within 150 meters. And then I get the value of houses for all the cells that are within 150 meters and zero for outside. Style it as a boolean and there we see the result. So it's very easy to do all these distance analysis with these tools. And you can combine it with the other tools available in QGIS.